Hey y'all, it's your old pal Rick Fairless here. Stroker Dallas, Stroker's Ice House, Punch Wally Garage, Fearless Services. Good morning. How you doing, all right? Today is Wednesday, November 27th, 2024, year of our Lord. Season number two, episode number 332. In today's show, we will talk about the good old days of nineteen of the nineteen seventies. Let's go. In my life, the three sixty six project, coming to you almost live from almost downtown Dallas, in the powerful C H U M P studio. Today's show is brought to you by Reliable Diamond Tool. That's ready com. R-E-D-I-T-O-O dot com. Check them out. Also brought to you by Simpson Motorcycle Helmets. If you got a $100 head, then you should wear a $100 helmet. But if your head is priceless, like mine, wear a Simpson. We are the best. They are the best. We are a dealer. StrokersDallas.com. Click on Shop. We are also a dealer for Extreme Charge. The best battery maintenance charger on the planet. I'm running a special. I have these 30% off, which is going to be about $69, somewhere in there. So, they also have the, extr the Extreme Charge Quad Link, you, so you can plug this one into the Quad Link, which will charge four vehicles four batteries at one time but this is the best battery maintenance charger on the planet it's 69 dollars strokersdallasmerch.com if you ain't get them for 69 dollars you ought to have your head examined they might not find nothing in there so turn off the news and come with me down memory lane you ready let's go Today, the Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine goes back to 1974. So I was lucky enough to grow up in a neighborhood in what was then far north Irving. We lived on Burning Tree Lane, and we met some kids that lived around us, and we all got into riding motorcycles well the the kids we were the closest to was jim lippy wilson jimmy hicks jimmy nelson greg pork brown and greg ballinger and what we would do is around the corner from my house on the corner of of harvard and briarcliff we used to park our little motorcycles, and I'm talking, we were riding, I was on a Honda 100, my brother was on a Yamaha 100, uh, Lippy Wilson was on, uh, I think he was also on a Honda 100, Jimmy Hicks was on an SL70, Greg Brown had a Suzuki something, and Greg Bounder never had a bike that I remember. If he did, it never ran. We were so close to those guys growing up. We hung out on that corner, and I don't know what it was about that corner. I guess it was just kind of centrally located. It was about two blocks from mine and Lippy's house. We lived on the same street, and we would hang out there, and we would just grow up, I guess. I mean, we were 14, 15, 16, 17 years old. And we just, uh, we solved the world's problems. You know, it was just, uh, it was just a fun time. I'm still in touch with uh, Jim Wilson is uh, one of my great friends, so he and I still are in contact. Jimmy Hicks 
uh, we found him in the last couple of years, and he lives north of town out by McKinney, so me and Jim Wilson go out there every now and then and check on him and his mother. Jimmy Nelson, I haven't heard from in a couple of years, but he's up in Oklahoma. Greg Brown, last time I heard from him, he was in prison. And Greg Ballinger is alive and doing fine in East Texas. And my brother is one of the top attorneys in the country. So all of those guys are still around somewhere. I don't talk to them much anymore other than Jim Lippy Wilson. And uh, my brother and I are still best friends. But these were friendships formed over 50 years ago. That seems crazy to me. How about these mugs? If you hadn't bought one, you might be crazy. Logo on both sides. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Strokersdallas.com. Click on shop. Let's check the chuck. Check the chuck, you big old. Woo, you got those chocolate brown chucks. I love that black and white logo. Why don't you marry it then? I don't like to brag, but I'm already married. White toe, white so double black racing stripes, boot bottoms, can't afford vent holes, one eye down, double knotted for safety. These are, say it with me, all these are some handsome chucks. Let's check that office, Mr. Fairless. Heavy on that, mister. So one of the centerpieces of my office is this collection of photos that a guy took, the photillustrator took, and it is people that used to work with me, friends. There's Ethel, Alice, and Trixie. There's Rodney, who's still working with me, my beautiful wife. There's Frank. There's Debbie, there's Ford, there's Steve. Steve's still with me. There's uh, uh, Katie and Sheena, and I forget that goofball's name. Oh, and there's my buddy Chris up there. Big State, Southwest Airlines, huh? Isn't that pretty cool? He's got 77 hours just on the computer putting that thing together. But I, I don't think he's doing that anymore. I think he's building cabinets or something. It's hard to make a living as an artist. Brother, don't I know that? What was Grandma Gold doing 75 years ago today on November 27th, 1949? It was a Sunday. Grandma wrote... Dick, Charles, and Kenneth went hunting and killed two coyotes. Grandpa and I, I mean Dixie and I, went to Sunday school this evening. We all went to the show tonight. We went to singing, and then she ran out of room. I don't know what the show is. Singing something, not singing in the rain, because that didn't come out till later in the 50s. Dad joke, what do you call a mobster who was buried in cement? A hardened criminal. Get off the couch and motivational minute. The best thing you can be is yourself. Just be yourself. Everybody else is taken. Tonight is Wednesday. That means karaoke. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. That's Thursday. So the motorcycle shop will be closed. But actually I'll be open online. StrokersDallasMerch.com and uh, the bar will be open from 1 to 6 tomorrow, Thanksgiving. We're also open from 1 to 6 on Christmas. So the bar is open every single day of the year. Okay, I'm going to leave you with this. Did you know that the Caesar salad was named after Caesar Cardini? He invented the Caesar salad in Tijuana, Mexico in 1934. You thought old Julius Caesar invented it, didn't you? That ain't no Italian salad. That's a Mexican salad. Tijuana, Mexico, baby. All right, Rick Fearless Fearless, I got to go. Love you, Alice. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow.